Hey everyone, today I'm diving into how cell therapies could revolutionize the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. If you're a health enthusiast, stick around, because this could change the future of brain health as we know it. First up, stem cell therapy. Stem cells have this incredible ability to transform into different types of cells. Two types stand out here, induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, and neural stem cells, or NSCs. IPSCs are derived from a patient's own cells and can become various nerve cells, which is great for personalized treatment. NSCs, on the other hand, are specialized for the nervous system and can help regenerate damaged nerve tissue, potentially improving memory and cognitive function. Next, let's talk about immune cell therapy. T cell therapy and microglia therapy are at the forefront. T cells help control inflammation linked to Alzheimer's, and researchers are working on CAR T cell therapy to target specific proteins like amyloid beta. Microglia, the brain's own immune cells, can become overactive in Alzheimer's, causing inflammation. By modulating their function, we might slow down the disease's progression. Bone marrow-derived stem cells, or BMMSCs, are another exciting avenue. These cells can reduce inflammation and promote nerve regeneration, slowing the progression of Alzheimer's. Similarly, cord blood-derived stem cells are showing promise due to their ability to differentiate into various cells and their low risk of immune rejection. Then there's neuronal transplantation, where healthy neurons are injected to replace damaged ones. This method, especially using neurons from iPSCs, could restore neural circuits and improve cognitive function. Lastly, extracellular vesicles, or EVs, are small particles secreted by cells that aid in cell communication and material transfer. Recent research suggests that EVs could help treat Alzheimer's by promoting neuron survival and regeneration. To wrap it up, these cell therapies offer a glimmer of hope for Alzheimer's treatment by potentially improving cognitive function through neuron regeneration, inflammation control, and neural circuit recovery. The key is integrating these approaches to find the optimal treatment for each patient. Stay curious and keep exploring. Thanks for watching.